Good morning, Lower School. This is an assembly on revision ahead of your assessments next week. Please write the date, title and learning objective in your PDP book. Remember to underline. You then have five minutes to complete the DNA questions in silence.
It is really important to give yourself the best chance to reach your potential by doing regular revision. This means practicing the virtue of self-discipline by committing to doing revision without fail every day using a revision plan. Practicing self-discipline will help you to achieve the qualifications you need to go to college. Think about where you revise. This needs to be planned out. Look for a quiet space that you can concentrate and don't forget to tell your family that you need to have that time to yourself. The best time to revise is after coming home from school when you've rested for a short while and you've had something to eat. Devices like your phone will distract you, especially when the work becomes more challenging or your friends are messaging you or you're lacking in motivation. Make sure you put your phone away during the hours that you're revising. Your phone will still be there at the end of your session. You now have two minutes to self-assess in green pen. So by the time you leave this session today, you will be able to create your own, your own revision flashcards with the topic title and key information on side A and five questions on side B. You will know that the best way to revise is to self-quiz or quiz with a friend using your flashcards. You will know that you need to revise two subjects each night, spending 40 minutes on each. And you'll know that it's important to be prepared for your assessments, to organise your time for your revision, and to know that it's also an important part of looking after your own mental well-being. Shortly, your personal tutor will hand out your revision packs. Your revision packs consist of flashcards, highlighters, a revision timetable and an assessment calendar. Your revision timetable clearly organises your revision into two subjects each evening. You should spend approximately 40 minutes on each subject. And it's important you find a quiet, comfortable space at home to revise, where disruptions will be kept to a minimum. Remember to have a five minute break in between your revision sessions to get a drink and to stretch your legs. Your assessment calendar tells you which assessments you have and when. Your revision timetable is being created so you are revising the right subject at the right time. The best way for you to revise is through self-quizzing. And the best way to do this is through creating flashcards. Miss Hudson's going to go through with you how to do that now. Flashcards are a really good way to self-quiz. They firstly tell you what you can remember, but more importantly, they will tell you what you need to put additional effort in when you are revising. Your teachers of each subject will tell you the key subjects and pieces of topic that you need to revise. From this list, you then need to create a flashcard. On the board is my front page for a flashcard. On this side, I put down all of the key information for one of the sections I've been asked to revise. In this case, it was the industrial sectors for year eight economic development. When I have finished writing down the information, I read back through it and I highlight the key words. You will be given a set of highlighters when you are given your revision cards in a few minutes. On the back page or the reverse of the flashcard, you then write five key questions that you can use to test yourself on the information on the front. You will see here I've again underlined the keywords in the questions. When your flashcard is then ready, you will ask yourself these questions, answer them either verbally or writing them down and then check against the front side. From here, you will know what you can remember easily and what also needs extra revision from your books or from Seneca. Your tutor will now hand you your highlighters, your clear flashcards, your timetables. Put these safely into your bag so that you can start using them tonight in your revision. Good luck, lower school.